Welcome back everybody. Last time we did some not so enthusiastic treasure hunting because I really, really, really don't like doing that. And I went through a secret cave. It's well fallen and hopefully I'll be in a little more excited mood. Because we are going to Grand Staff! Wah! And Mac is still having some trouble controlling this boat. So if you head towards the water here, We'll get a little cutscene. Sarah's got like a push up bra it's effect going strong. on, I think. I've never felt anything like it before. Yeah, Sarah's are Wow, it's like all three, it's like a contest right there. And Jensen's like judging. Whoa, all lined up in a contest. Hey, you're not crying, are you? This isn't the time to be crying. Mac finally stopped crying. Alright. He has grown a little older. Now all he has to do is grow a real haircut. And Kaim has some sexy earrings on. This ship will be fine. Anyways. So here we are, going to the sort of last area, if you will. You actually have to come to this area twice. Which is quite interesting. It's broken up into two parts, and to be honest, this place is a freaking maze. You... Yeah. You're gonna see me getting lost quite a bit. Yes, I do. Gives you the option because, as you can see, you can't really get off of this area. You have no choice but to... Uh, continue on. You can't really do much about it or anything. Sorry I pause a lot, I just forget that there's loading screens sometimes. Come for your ass, Gungora. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, this place is horribly confusing and hopefully I won't miss any. I actually went back to the auction house to check how much I missed. Either than a seed slot and goats, uh, it, I think it was the goats in, um, the hell was it? Like the boarding, west boarding plank or whatever? I want to get out of here. Oh, like Sid. Alright, fine, we don't have time, gotcha. I missed this, that, and somehow I missed a seed on the, uh, salmon ship. I think that's maybe because of recording problems that I found it in the recording and when I went back I didn't get it. I forget. But somehow I missed a seed. I, I don't know how. But those are the two major items I'm missing from the uh, ship. And either than a few things from the wool, uh, Highlands Wool, I haven't missed that much. So we've seen these things. They're uh, not very spectacular to say. Uh, Fyra, or Flara, sorry, wrong game. Should be enough. You fought these in the, I think these are the same as the ones you fight in the uh, experimental staff. I can't remember. They're uh, organic, so they're weak to organic killer, obviously. And they're wind, so they're weak to flare. This area isn't too tough, and I mean, you should be okay for the most part. If not, a couple, uh, couple of battles here and there and you'll be fine. Yeah, see Flara 
Larry's doing some damn good damage there. Wait, did I just attack with Sarah? Oh, crap. I don't mean to do that. And there's also quite a few um, enemies in the area as well, so... Ah, whoa, damn, Sarah. Holy cow. I wasn't expecting to do that much damage. I was expecting to do like one or two. Wow, that severely hurt. It must have been like an attack that lowers your uh, GC gauge. Anyways, there's our first battle. The enemies in the area are completely random as to the weakness. There's not necessarily any mechanical creatures or bio creatures that stand out, so your best bet is to be equipping uh, different rings. Now, first thing I want to do is I actually want to go over here. I believe. I'm going to get so lost in the area, so you're going to have to forgive me. This place is freaking confusing as hell. Goddess medicine? There's only, uh, I think, two, two items that are really important to get here. this bridge. There's a lot of paths that will just take you back and forth to different areas. Like they, like there I went across that. So you gotta find these switches and they'll turn off the steam. There's a lot of sprouting paths that will take you to places that other paths will take you and you can get turned around real easily. And it can be a real mess. It really can. Uh, it's not that I, I don't mind this place, it's just it's bad for recording. Like when you're trying to do an LP and you're, you're running around like an idiot. gets really hard. Alright, there's two more enemies. They are weak to... something? Wind. So they are... okay. okay. Flare us, which is a level 8 spell. Extremely powerful. And that thing in the back, you cannot attack it with magic. At least, I never had magic to work for it. I don't know if you can, but I tried attacking it with magic, and magic just kept missing. Uh-oh. Ah, crap. I didn't know these things did this. Oh, seriously? Well, everybody's partially petrified. Boom. I want to take that damn flame tower out first. I'm using the mug ability for ring for death simply just to get the components. I have a level 3 damage ring on time, just because I'm not switching back and forth between um, rings to battle the enemies. It's not worth it. There we go. I 
should finish everything off rather nicely. Cool. So there's a good number of the enemies you'll be facing. And I learned a bunch of crap. Now I've already gone through here and did all my grinding I needed. Something up here. There's a chest up here. Let us open this chest and see what it contains. Aquas, alright. Yeah, you're gonna be getting Aquas and Groundus, the last two uh, three tiered spells for your black magic. So that's good, so you, all your elements should be complete. So let's run on! Ah, as I get stuck. Yeah, so if you run across these pipes, Jensen will complain. You'll get stuck in these watery areas. So you want to take your time. Or if you leave the steam vents on, steam vents will push you off and you'll go flying off. So you kind of want to just walk slowly across them. Warn you now, I might miss some things in this area. But the Aquas and the Groundus, I believe, are the only. Uh, items that you should... Oh, there's Shyness as well. But those are the only items you should really concern yourself with. Everything else is just components, if you really care. I don't really care that much about components, so... You know what, it's really hard to see everything on the screen here. The HDMI, it's a lot clearer for me, so it's a lot easier to spot stuff. Here we have another pseudo magic infantry. Like that. That, um. Is it crystal fragment or whatever that regains my MP after every turn? Pretty much makes my black mages, in, or my mages invincible, so. I am not worried. If you don't have that, just equip the, uh. I think it's the Relax, which you gain MP back by guarding. And just guard a couple of times, and you'll gain back your MP to heal. Third tier, your other third tiers you should have gotten uh, from Jansen when he leveled up. I think I made a mistake there. I don't remember. Yeah, see the damage level three up is. A perfect is pretty much doing about a pretty good amount of damage. Sid also has the three accessory ability, where you'll be able to equip three accessories at once. So that's a good one to equip if you're still behind on... Oh, there's a seed slot here. I did not... Okay, so there's another important item. So that's another one if you're behind on your uh, skills from items. I would go for that one right away to be able to equip three uh, accessories on. Okay, I didn't realize. I knew it was up there, but I just forgot. Uh. So yeah, you'll have to forgive me if I miss anything. I mean, like I said, if you this is a one-time only area, but if you miss anything, just 
go to the uh, auction house, you'll get it. It's fine. It's not like you can lose out on anything in this game, to be honest. I, I really don't think you can. Oh, let's look over here. What the hell is that? Should we open it? I don't know. Well, let's find out next time what happens when I open it. So, folks, next time we're going to open this capsule and see what's in it. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye.